We are to read only the Word of God in context from Genesis to Revelation. Messiah of Israel Ministries were led to Tiberias to preach this truth. As the team were praying, I began sharing Job chapter 9 verse 8 with many and asking them, Who is this that walks on the water? It doesn't matter what the rabbis say. It doesn't matter what I say. It matters only what the Word of God says in context. As the Bible says, test everything. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 21 But test everything, hold fast to what is good. As the team were praying, I noticed an Orthodox man walking. I was led by the Holy Spirit to approach him. I called him over and asked him a question. May I speak to you? He said yes. I introduced myself. He introduced himself as Chaim Moskovich, a rabbi in an Orthodox elementary school. I asked Chaim, how long have you been a rabbi in this school? He said 12 years. I said, wow, that's pretty impressive. You must know the Bible good. He said yes. I then asked Chaim, I said, since we're in Tiberias, Tvelia, I'd like to ask you a Bible verse that's in context with Tvelia, with Tiberias. He said, sure. I opened the Bible to Job chapter 9, verse 7 and 8, and read together with Chaim. He commands the sun, and it does not rise. He seals off the stars. I stopped right there at verse 7, turned to Chaim and asked him, who is this speaking about? He said, it's speaking about God. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I said, let's continue and read verse 8. Who alone has stretched out the heavens? He walks on the sea as on firm ground. I asked Chaim, I said, Chaim, it says here that God walks on the water, on the sea. Who is this? At that moment, another Orthodox Jew walked by and was listening. Chaim did not answer, for he has already established that it's God, and he didn't want to get into it. But the other Orthodox man heard and he said, That's a Christian message. That's not Jewish. That's not in the Bible. I then asked the other Orthodox Jew, Is the book of Yoav in the Bible? He said, Yes. I said, Well, let's read the book of Yoav, the book of Job. I then read out loud, Job chapter 9, verse 7 and 8. He speaks to the sun, and it does not shine. He seals off the light of the stars. Verse 8, Who alone has stretched out the heavens and walks on the sea? as on firm ground. So we can see right here that in the Bible, in the Jewish Tanakh, it says that God walks on the water. There is no more Jewish message than this. Chaim was silent. The other Orthodox man was getting upset. I asked him, what is your name? He said, my name is David Hellman, and I can have you thrown out of this city. I asked David, you said that it's not a Jewish message, and I showed you that it's in the Bible. He said, yes, but the Talmud doesn't talk about this Bible verse. I say, why not? He said, it's difficult to understand. I said, it's difficult to understand? A five-year-old can understand it. Let's read it again. He speaks to the sun, and it does not shine. He seals off the light of the stars. Who alone has stretched out the heavens and walks on the sea as on firm ground? It looks to me very simple to understand. God is walking on water. And it's true, you can have me thrown out of the city, but you won't do it. He said, why not? I said, because God loves you, and he called me here to deliver a message. The fact is, you approached me. This is not a coincidence. The word coincidence is not in the Tanakh. It's not in the Bible. This is a divine appointment. They both knew who I was speaking about, but they wanted to see if I would deny the name. They wanted to see if I would be afraid. So they asked me, who is this speaking about? It was time for the full gospel. I turned the Bible to Isaiah 53, Jeremiah 22, Micah chapter 5, and many Bible passages and read together with Chaim and David. It's speaking about the Messiah, God, who walked on the water, who died on the tree on the cross for your sins. He rose on the third day, and by his blood, if you repent and believe, you have full redemption of sins and eternal life. Finally, David turned to me and asked, What is his name? I said, God is asking you the same question. What is his name, and what is the name of his son? I turned the Tanakh, the Bible, to Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4, and read, who has gone up to heaven and come down? Whose hands have gathered up the wind? Who has wrapped up the waters in a cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is the name of his son? Surely you know. Mashem umashem bno kitida. His name is Yeshua, Jesus, who died on the tree of the cross for your sins. He rose on the third day and by his blood, if you repent and believe, you have full redemption of sins and eternal life. And he is the one right here in Tvelia, right here in Tiberias, that walked on the water. Hallelujah.
I told Chaim and David to search the scriptures, and God will set them free. We pray for their salvation. At that moment, David Hellman left angry. Chaim turned to me and started to scream, missionary, missionary, and point a finger at me. We pray for their salvation. One thing is certain, the Holy Spirit touched them, and they'll never be the same again. And for this, we give all the glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Yeshua. Thank you.